Hello, this is Inkfee checking in. I decided to add a bit of commentary to the speed paint as this was paid for by one of my commissioners. So thank you for paying for this speed paint. <laughs> this is their character Natsuko. I thought they were very cute, which is why I decided to accept the commission. I don't think I'm super picky when it comes to characters, but I do like characters like these. The ones that are just kind of, you know, uh, they have like a simple sword and they have like this jacket with this cute little rice ball shirt. I just thought it was super adorable, so I just had to do it. The reason why I'm adding this small bit of commentary, by the way, is because while I was recording part of the coloring process, I was actually not recording at all. <laughs> I thought I recorded it, but apparently I didn't because by the time I put down the base shading, I realized that I didn't record any of the base shading process whatsoever and I nearly died. So you'll immediately see like the coloring stages in which I fill out the early colors and then you're gonna see it jump to the shading. And I couldn't really hide this because it was the base shading so obviously that jump is going to look very weird. It's not like you can just cut a little bit further and kind of hide that. So I just wanted to point that out there. But I also figured that I'd give a small commentary on this commission to also make up for that as well. This is a full body with a simple background. Now, this may not look simple to some people, but I felt like the character benefited from it, so I just went with it. Honestly, a simple background for me can range from a direct light source to some colors in the background to add a nice bit of contrast to just like a nice texture added to the background just for a little bit of that depth. I felt like in this case I knew exactly what I wanted to do and I had an idea that would align with the commissioner's vision so I felt like I was able to go for it immediately. I ended up using a ladder technique to create the illusion of depth for this commission so I did a bit of texture as well as adding a little bit of contrast. A cool trick I learned when it comes to commissions with simple backgrounds is to always think of your work in terms of value and contrast. Now you can use this for any illustration, but when it comes to certain characters, some characters have a lot of detail, some of them are rather simple, and depending what project you're getting asked to do to work for, you're gonna have to think about ways to kind of make the commission work as well as it's still satisfying the commissioner. This is not a bad thing in itself, it's just something you have to consider because commission work is a job and when you're presented with these ideas, you have to find a way to overall just make it work. So I tend to think about how is the character contrasting against the background? How light or dark is your character's overall color palette? Do you have a particular color scheme you need to stick to in mind? In this case, it's always best to consider the light source of the illustration. If you just plot a light character onto a lighter background, it can really stick out like a sore thumb and not in a good way because the overall piece feels way too bright. Some people do want that effect, like if you want a halo effect, that's something you can create as well. But if you don't want that for regular illustrations, you may want to consider how you are using these types of contrast contrasting effects, excuse me. Some people want that effect that you may not be looking for and it really depends on what you're trying to do. You may want to consider other options such as a darker background to help make the character pop out or a lighter character uh, who makes the background pop out for certain details. I know it seems a little bit complicated, but when I was working with Natsuko, I felt like this benefited her design because she has rather earthly color palettes. She has browns and greens and reds to use as contrast. I, so I tried to stick to a warmer color scheme by having it be a bit lighter in the background to contrast her original earthly palette. That and I had to consider that her sword was going to be taking up part of the frame. So I needed to account for that as well because it's also a completely different color palette. Even if I painted the sword in a warmer light, it was still going to be a sword because the sword's made out of metal and that's a completely different texture in comparison to like fabric in which you have a bit more leeway in what you can do with it. A sword still needs to look like a sword. I tried to make the piece a bit warmer so it can still contrast with the earthly color tones that she has and still match a bit. So I'm a bit happy with how this turned out overall. Uh, it wasn't really um, that long to work in this commission. According to the timestamps, for all the clips I got, 
It was about six hours or so, including everything in total, which is nice. I'm trying to find a way to kind of do commissions a bit faster. I feel like I'm way too slow and I need to pick up the pace. So seeing I can at least do it in a couple of hours or so is pretty nice because usually it does take me a bit longer to do stuff like this. I remember when I first made a half body that I really spent a lot of time and effort on. It took me like 12 to 14 hours and it absolutely killed me. So being able to do stuff like full bodies in five hours kind of means a lot. It feels like I just like, yeah, I just made it to that point so I don't have to deal with all that anymore. So I'm actually really happy about that because now half bodies don't take me as much time depending on the amount of detail as well, including the simple background. It really depends overall because it's still various factors you're dealing with, how complicated the design is, what details you're adding to the background, how the character is being portrayed, the pose, lighting, yada yada yada, all of that factors into it. But I am trying to find ways to cut the time I spend working on these projects for myself. There we go. So other than that, I don't have much to say. Feel free to enjoy the rest of the speed paint. Hope you all are having a wonderful day. Easter just passed, so I hope you all had a lovely Easter if you celebrate. If not, I hope you had a wonderful day. See you later and enjoy the rest of the speed paint. Bye-bye.